Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong and this is the Modeling Protein Synthesis Walkthrough video. I want to just quickly go through how you're going to go through this modeling process of making a protein from DNA. So the first thing you need to do is cut out all those little tiny nucleotides. So you'll have, uh, notice uh, some uh, a yellow and a white, a set of blue, and some pink ones. And if you look closely, they all have the same parts. They have a phosphate, they have a sugar, and a base. The base is different. All the pink ones are A, all of the blue ones are G, the white ones are C, and the yellow ones are U. So since there is a U here, that means that these are going to be the RNA nucleotides. In order for this to work out really well, you want to cut on the lines. So don't leave any extra paper around those lines. Cut all these on the line so that they're all uniform size. You will also be cutting out your transfer RNA molecules. And so, again, they're a little bit odd shaped, but cut on the line again. That will make things a lot easier for you. Once you have all those cut out, you're going to ask me for the DNA strand. On the DNA, of course, we know this is DNA because it has the A, G, C, and T. It has thymine. Normally, DNA is double-stranded, but in the process of making a protein, only one strand is used, and that is the template strand. So you're only going to be given the template strand of DNA. And so now you're ready to start your modeling. The first thing you're going to want to do is put your DNA onto the table. You may want to tape it down. And then one by one, you're going to add the RNA nucleotides. Remember that C's and G's pair up and A's and U's pair up. You'll want to tape the nucleotide to the next nucleotide. Do not tape the RNA nucleotides to the DNA. So the bond forms between the RNA nucleotides, not between the DNA and the RNA. Once you have all of your RNA nucleotides attached together, you can remove the DNA molecule. And so now you have messenger RNA. Remember, messenger RNA carries the message of DNA out to the ribosomes. Now you'll want to get yourself a ribosome. You'll see a space. This is where the messenger RNA is going to go. And then you see two squares. This is where the transfer RNAs will go. And you have to find the right transfer RNA. So on the transfer RNAs, you have a three base sequence. Those are the anticodons. On the messenger RNA, you have a three base sequence. Those are the codons. The anticodon has to match up with the codon. Once you have matched up the right anticodon and codon, you then will look on the codon sheet to find out what amino acid that is. And you're going to write the name of the amino acid in that spot. Remember that this codon sheet is for codons. Those are on the messenger RNA, not the transfer RNAs. Which means that if you're doing this right, your very first amino acid should be methionine. That is the first amino acid in all the proteins. You're going to shift the ribosome down the messenger RNA and then another transfer RNA is going to be added. You're going to find out what the amino acid is from the chart, write it down, tape the amino acids together. Do not tape a transfer RNA to another transfer RNA, just the amino acid to an amino acid. Because when you move it down again, you're going to have to take a pair of scissors and cut away the previous transfer RNA so that you're left with just the amino acid. You're going to repeat this over and over again until you have a protein made. And proteins, of course, take on these weird 3D geometric shapes. And when you're done, you will have completed both the transcription of RNA from the DNA and then the translation of the amino acid sequence from the RNA. If you're running into any troubles, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you.